So, like, the funniest thing I ever saw <laughs> in the uh, psych board uh, was a chick. She was getting pulled. This is a true story, I can't believe it. Uh, I was in the psych ward, and this chick was getting pulled out of a room. And she was kicking and screaming like this, just screaming, Why can't we fuck? Why can't we fuck? Why can't we fuck? And I was in there for hallucinating and depression, and all I thought was, Man, everybody's getting laid. <laughs> Uh, but no, it, it's real. Like, I, I do hallucinate, and uh, that, that's I, I think about reality a lot. Because reality is like super, it's like what we all have in common, right? Because we're all here in reality. <laughs> but reality is also very personal. Because what I perceive is what I perceive, and what you perceive is what you perceive. Like, you guys don't see walls melting half the time. I do. <laughs> that's my reality that I just live with. I just see a wall melting and I'm like, all right, moving on. Mark's funny. <laughs> so I also realized Mark's my teacher and he tries some of his jokes out in our class and then I get to see them live. Just a thing that I, it's cool. Um, that was random. Uh, sorry. But uh, it, it's weird because a lot of my reality, since I hallucinate sometimes, I think, um, I don't know if my roommate's real. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if he exists. Like, I live in a dorm because I go to college, and uh, my roommate, like, I met his mom, but I don't know if I met his mom. That might just be my reality, but in everyone else's reality, I might just be calling IT support, and I'm like, Carl's great. He's like, do you need help? And I'm like, Carl's a great guy, you know? So I don't, I don't know what's real and what's not. Like, my mom met him. My mom met my roommate, so he must be real, right? Or my mom's just a really nice person, and she's just like, my son's stressed because of college. And I'm like, this is my roommate, Carl, and I'm just doing an accent, and she's like, wow, that's great, where's he from? Mumbai, and his name is Carl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and my girlfriend met him, so I think he exists, unless, because I feel like she would have dumped me by then, right? <laughs> Because I was just like, and here's my roommate, Carl, and I just ran over to the other side of the room, and I was like, hello. She'd be like, ah, okay. So that's, that's where I'm at. Also, he hasn't, it's the second semester, and it's a week into school. He's not home yet. He's not there, so it's freaking me out. And I'm just counting down the days, like, is he, was he real? Was he, was he, all of his stuff is gone. He also bought, like, tons of junk food before he left, and then took it all. So I don't know, like, maybe I blacked out and just bought, like, 10 packs of Oreos and put them in the fridge, and then, like, 10 days later, just gorged in, like, a drunken, I don't know, so. Reality's weird. <laughs> um, this is all new, but I, I learned about, do you guys know what sea sponges are? Yeah. Yeah, sea sponges. They're, uh, they're sponges that uh, grow in the ocean, you know? And they're, they're considered animals. And uh, I'm vegan, so I try to use no animal products, and I realize I now can't clean my apartment. <laughs> because apparently fucking sponges are animals. And this was weird, though, because the reason that they're animals is that the sponges have, they have no organs, no brains, no central nervous system, but they can reproduce cells like mammals, like, like sperm cells. So the reason that that sponge is an animal is because it's filled with sperm. Mm -hmm. Sperm sponge. <laughs> That's why. So now I don't know, like, I don't know, I'm... It's, it's just weird being vegan. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm like, I can't clean, I can't eat, I don't know what to do, and I'm hallucinating all the time, but uh, yeah, that's all the new shit I wanted to do, guys. Thanks. Yeah.